we've now moved quite a lot closer to the sun than we were uh, some months ago. And uh, as a consequence of that, we're able to get enough power onto the spacecraft that it's charged its batteries, it's warmed itself up inside, and it's contacted Rosetta, the big spacecraft orbiting around the comet, and sent its first signals back at about half past nine UK time last night. All right. And what more can we expect to know about this? For instance, will there be more information sent back uh, by Philae to Rosetta and to uh, the scientists who've been monitoring it? Well, we were able to conduct about 60 hours worth of science experiments back then in November. And the aim, of course, was to go on for several months at that point if the secondary batteries had been recharged, if we hadn't landed in the shade. So now we're actually able to start the instruments up again uh, in the next few days, hopefully, and uh, start measuring the comet again from the surface. Uh, Rosetta, the spacecraft, has been measuring it continuously from orbit. But the interesting thing is that now the comet's at its most active, um, it, it may well be that we're going to see different things now as material is being lifted away from the comet and goes out into make the big tail, which everybody thinks about when they think of, of comets. So we're seeing at the, the comet at a much more active phase than we would have seen last November. So we hope to learn new things about the comet.